Camp for Children with Cancer is asking for help. Camp Good Days and Special Times is working to rebuild a few cabins destroyed by flooding this year. Eric Cost has more on their efforts moving forward. Camp started over 40 years ago. One local father wanted to treat his daughter to the time of her life. Circumstances were tragic. She had terminal brain cancer and was running out of time. That father's name was and is Gary Mervis. James McCauley Jr., Director of Community Initiatives, says over the years, camp has been successful, other than a few hiccups with Mother Nature. Five, six years ago, we experienced the first of what they said was a once-in-a-lifetime flood. Turns out that once-in-a-lifetime flood would come back to bite. Take a look. This is August of last year. Water taking over campgrounds in Branchport. Storms would eventually come back again in February. Cabins two and three, these are two of our cabins by the creek, were saturated with rain and deemed no longer inhabitable. Now they're working with experts to ensure camp can stay here and cabins can be rebuilt stronger than before. But it could cost up to a quarter of a million dollars, even with insurance, a project taking them into 2023. McCauley is asking the community for help, fundraising taking an added urgency this year. He says camp will go on with other accommodations, even with up to 60 beds now gone. Our first priority is to make sure that our camp is safe. Yeah, our programs are going, to be, are going to begin in June, and all those who come to us will not be turned away. Making children smile is something he's committed to, no matter what it takes. Flooding, financial struggles, and even a pandemic. Reporting, Eric Cost, News 8. Thank you, Eric To donate, you can head over to CampGoodDays.com. Click on the Donate button in the top right-hand corner of the website.